Okay, good evening. What's up, guys? Um, just a quick review. I think this is quick review number four, four, five. Yeah. Five, four. Four. Like I'm that. pretty sure it's four. Okay, well, yeah. it'll be in the title, so we'll know then. <laughs> um, so tonight, and super quick, because he's tired, I'm mm -hmm. tired, you're tired. We all need to get some damn sleep. Yes. So today we are going to drink Watchstander Stout from Ghostfish Brewing. Yes. Check the can, it's pretty cool. Hey, oh, yeah. hey, hey. So these guys are out of Seattle mm -hmm. and they are known, I don't know if they're known by themselves or everyone as Seattle or as Washington's premier gluten-free brewery. Mm. Yeah. So, and where did we find this? Do you remember? I remember. I want to say we found this at Oli Tap Room, but we You are did. wrong. Yeah, but it was the same day. It was the same day, but it was at Spud's. It Spucks. was at Spud's Produce Stand, so over on Capitol Way. I would recommend that spot. In Olympia. In Olympia, Washington. So on our epic trip, oh mm -hmm. gosh, three weeks ago, something like that. Shoot. Four weeks Four, ago. Four, five, like who that. knows. We're getting to we it. We have children. We don't know time. Right. <laughs> But so, so Ghostfish, these guys, when they saw we picked up one of their mm -hmm. beers, they started following us yep. on Instagram. They liked our, a bunch of our stuff. Yep. And so we figured, that's really nice. Yep. We should try Time this Time to out. drink their beer. Exactly. Yeah. And so finally we're like, hey, we have an excuse to drink beer. So here we are. Yay! So nice, dark, but can still kind of see through yeah, it as bit. we hold it up. But it still has a real nice kind of a caramel... Uh, light amber color to it as I look at it through this bright ass LED light in my face. Smell it. Smell it. Ooh, that's roasty. nice. Real roasty. Got a nice sweet roast scent to it though. Yeah, it does. Not a dark roast. Mm -mm. But well, hey. Cheers. cheers. Stop sniffing. Oh, that's got a really nice, like, roast roast heavy but not overbearing super mm -hmm. clean on the palate very clean so not light but not heavy yeah easily a you know you could drink two to three of these probably at this uh, well, texture because it doesn't have that heavy viscosity that you get no, out of some it does not well what are we ah where's my abv the sometimes slacker, he should have known these things before hey some of us parent <laughs> some of us that's why we have wives right because we're stay at so, home dads so there you go it's 6.5 <laughs> it's 6.5 so okay. not you could have a couple oh yeah because it's not it's not too heavy it won't kick you in the ass on your third one yeah yeah i'm getting i'm getting something on the back end i'm not sure what it is almost like a light raisin flavor on the back end like a like a plum like a ray yeah mm -hmm. yeah no, I could. And it's but real nice, kind of that rich sweetness, but not sugary sweetness that you get out of like a raisin or a date yeah. or something yeah. of that nature. Yeah. And but, wow, super crisp. I would highly, yeah. highly recommend I enjoy finding it. something from them. So, and I've seen quite a few things from Ghostfish uh, floating around. Yeah. So maybe we also need to be hunting down some more things from Definitely. Ghostfish. So, and for our friends, family, and fans that are gluten-free, mm -hmm. and you still want a good beer. Oh, this is a hell of a go. beer for it. Yeah. So for some of the gluten-free beers that I have had that oh god, I That's would, not, oh, do we have that to? I would like to drain pour them? Right. And it's but sometimes it's like, but it's the only beer I've got, so I'm gonna drink it. But this is not this that. is not one of them. No, this is one that this is tasty. happily, if I see again, I'll pick yeah. up. This is one that I'm pretty sure Julie would enjoy drinking with me. So because it's not super heavy, real nice and easy. Yeah. Take this to a party. Mm -hmm. Don't tell anybody it's gluten free if you don't want to, and nobody <laughs> will know and nobody will care. Oh no! It's a, it's just a good beer. Yeah, because it's not Period. you know smattered on it. Where some of them just smatter the label. Oh with yeah, gluten free, and that can be a little overbearing sometimes on that label. A little preachy. Yeah, exactly, and it's like I don't care about that. I care about the beer. The beer. And so, so, yeah, it's it's nice for those that need it to be gluten-free. Exactly. But we don't need that, yep. so it's just a nice beer. Or if you're having a party at your house, here's your gluten-free option. It's no longer yeah. just, you know, 
gin and soda. <laughs> or you tell people that, and everyone's like, oh, I'm not going for it. I don't need it. And then it's all for you. Exactly. And so that's then, not a bad thing. So then the good beer is just for you, and you don't even have to hide it. <laughs> I like that idea. Maybe that's what I'll do now. We still hide the good beer. I'm only gluten-free for beer. That's that. <laughs> it's a, I'm, yeah. And just yeah. when this is a wrap. Yeah, that's true. I'm gluten-free for steak. <clears throat> but is it okay if my food eats gluten? All right, well, <laughs> well last hey. chugs for us. Cheers. Have a good night, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in yet once again. We appreciate it. Good night, everybody. <laughs>